Hello and welcome. I'm Tom Sinclair, that vid blaster guy, coming to you with another episode of that vid blaster guy. <laughs> Today's shows, I think it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, we're going to talk about some of the unique uh, aspects of vid blaster, which I think will be kind of fun to discuss. We've had some good uh, conversations here in the pre-show. Um, and so uh, if you're if you're watching us live but you're not tuned into the chat room, you need to do that. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, delighted to have you on YouTube. Please subscribe. But also try to catch us live on a Wednesday afternoon. It's Wednesdays at 3 o'clock Eastern, uh, 8 o'clock in London, depending on whether it's British summertime or daylight saving time or whatever. Anyway, um, the premise of this show is that one guy with one PC and the right software can really do an awesome broadcast. And that's been the premise that we've worked with since we began this show in July of 2012 and have had, I don't know, 100 episodes or so since then. It's been a ton of fun. And what I've discovered, I'm a, you know, oh yeah, sorry, full disclosure here, I'm, um, I am an authorized Vid Blaster reseller. So you can purchase Vid Blaster from me. You can purchase a Vid Blaster upgrade from me. And if you need technical support, uh, if you're not already a customer, you can buy a support package and we can support you on Vid Blaster. So all that kind of stuff out of the way. Um, one of the neat things about Vid Blaster that I've learned, finally learned after you know three or four years of knowing the software, is how easy it is to use. And I haven't appreciated that. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, what if you, if, and, and I'm talking to mostly guys because our, our audience, both live and, and on YouTube, is like, you know, 97% male. So well, I'm just going to be a, a male chauvinist here for a, a minute and take everything from a male standpoint. But what if you met a girl in the fourth grade? And, you know, you, you, you kind of liked her. And then in sixth grade, you started going steady. And then in eighth grade, you started dating. And then, you know, you went off to college together. And then after you graduated from college, you got married. And you lived happily ever after. And, you know, you found the, the, the perfect person for you right off the bat. And you didn't have to go through some of the trials and tribulations that the others of us go through when we don't find our, our soulmate or don't find our good match. Um, well, for me, that's the way VidBlaster was. I found VidBlaster early on in my, my streaming career, if you will, and found it so easy to use and, and loved getting on the VidBlaster forum and chatting with folks all across the world about VidBlaster and how to do this and how to do that and really cut my teeth on it. And just didn't appreciate, yeah, I didn't appreciate what I had until, well, I didn't lose it, but, and, you know, and this is where this, you know, male-female analogy doesn't, gets kind of icky, because all of a sudden, I guess you would say I took on mistresses when I began to explore Wirecast and, and uh, vMix and some of the other softwares, but what I found out is it really made me appreciate certain aspects of VidBlaster that I hadn't appreciated before because eh, they just weren't on my radar. Um, and the one that stands out, and I hear people say this all the time, the one that stands out is how easy VidBlaster is to use. And I get that all the time. Now, not everybody thinks that the way that, that VidBlaster thinks. I understand that. And so for some folks, there is a learning curve. But it, it really is as simple as point and click. Um, and I think, you know, hat tip to Mike Verstig, the developer of VidBlaster, for coming up with this, this format, this modular format, where things are, are very easily, their, their purposes are very easily understood because it's in a module. If it says camera module, it must be a camera. <laughs> If it says player module, it must play something, in this case, video. If it says overlay, it must be like an overlay. Um, and so, you know, hat tip to him for, for coming up with these concepts pretty early on. You know, VidBlaster, you know, the, the O version 
I think probably came out in 2008, something like that. I discovered VidBlaster at point oh, no, excuse me, 0. 0.42 maybe. Um, and then it went to version 1, version 2, and now we're on version 3. And it just, it, it clicked for me. It made sense. It was, it was the perfect way for me to be introduced to this. I don't have a background in television production. Probably that's, that's not news to most of you. Um, I don't have a background, or certainly not a professional background, in photography. Don't have a back, professional background uh, with websites or anything like that. I got into it because I was interested in it and because I had, had you know, my, my boys were playing soccer and I wanted to help promote what they were doing within the community and so started out with photography and then videography and then live stream and video. And that was my progression there. And VidBlaster made that last part of that progression so much easier than I, than I could possibly imagine. Um, what I did, what I've done for today's show, and I think, again, for looking in the chat room and seeing some of the guys that are here, you know, this, this is going to be, um, this is going to be 101 stuff to you guys. I mean, you, you guys will have already seen this and already... Uh, done this, you know, hundreds of times. Um, but I show this not just to, to have the tutorial purposes of, of how it works, but to really show the the inherent ease of the VidBlaster software. So let me let me show you one of these clips right now. Uh, it's about a minute and a half, and let's see if I can figure out which clip it is. Um, I'm not sure which clip it is. You'll just have to. Well, we'll just we'll just all have fun and figure it out together uh, which one it is. Let me make sure I've got an audio device there, and I don't have a loop. And I want to play on take, so I'm just going to click this module, and away we go. Hey, I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, coming to you with another quick and easy tutorial to use in VidBlaster. As you know, in VidBlaster, you can put in a lower third using the overlay module right here. We'll just drop that lower third in. That's pretty cool. But if you change to another shot, ah, the overlay module stays there and you have to go back and turn it off. Well, there's an easy way to make the overlay module attach itself to the camera module. And we use an effect module for that. So let's say add effect and we'll drag that over to the side here. And we want to do something called a source overlay. So we'll pick our source. In this case, it's going to be our camera. And then we'll pick our overlay. In this case, it'll be our overlay. And the two of them are together now in a module. So whenever we click on that module, there it is. If we want to go to a video and play a video for a second, then we can do that. If we wanted to go back to our camera shot, we, we can and our lower third is still attached to it. Pretty cool, it's called Source Overlay in the Effect Module, and it's that simple. Another tutorial from that VidBlaster guy. Hey, we'd love to have you <laughs> That VidBlaster guy. But it, it just, it was so well created, so well designed from the very beginning to make it easy for people to understand, easy to operate, and you know, there's nothing like being in um, a fast-paced um, broadcast. Let's say if it's sports could even be church. You know, there there are times where church broadcasting is fast-paced, or the pressure that comes from a self-produced show like this one, where you know it's me. I'm I'm the operator. I'm the technical director, and I'm the talent all rolled on rolled into one. And so it's not that it's it's moving so quickly as if there's so many you know responsibilities. Is that VidBlaster makes it simple, and simple has a high success rate in high stress situations, because simple is easy. Easy is natural, and it's kind of like you know if I do this, will it do that? And after we've done it 20, 30 times, then we we begin to get the feel for it. Um, the uh, I've got another video that I want to illustrate the same purpose with, and, and let's give that a go here. Hey, I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, 
coming to you with another quick and easy tutorial. This time it's on how to do picture in picture. It's really pretty simple. Let's start out by going to the modules menu and add and add an effect module. The effect module does a lot of heavy lifting in Bid Blaster. And we will drop down the first drop down box right there and you see we have two PIP choices regular old PIP which allows us to change the aspect ratio and squish or stretch our our image and then fixed aspect ratio which may which maintains the aspect ratio of the image we'll choose that one for this example and we'll also select our camera source number one right here and you see immediately a little box is in front of my face let's go ahead and put this on the screen so it's easier to see and let's go ahead and populate that box with the graphic and still store too. And you can tell, or actually you can't move it here, but if you come over here, you can move this anywhere on the screen you wanted to. You're not limited by predetermined locations, you know, top left, top bottom, that kind of thing. You can move it anywhere you want. You can resize it, make it as large or as small as you want, and you can crop it. So we can take it and crop it down just to the picture size and then resize it so that it fits right there in our image. Um, we can also put a video there. Let's, let's remove this module and we'll add it again. Add effect and we're going to select picture in picture, fixed aspect ratio, camera one. This time we're going to put a video there. I've got a video in the player module right down here and let's see is that set up let's set it up to loop and let's move it out of the way of my face and we'll go ahead and put that one on the screen so as we play this module oops, let me turn the volume down there if you have a video and you're doing kind of a new show you've got the ability to pull that video in and then when you're ready to go to the full video you just simply click on the video and there it is and you can do the same thing by coming back from that to the main screen so that you've got that video there. And, you, and we, you know, not that we would want to do that in this case, but we can also crop it um, and we can resize it just like it were any other uh, image. But in this case, it's video. So that's pretty cool. That's Vid Blaster's picture in picture. Really easy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too. Hey, would love to have you join us on Wednesdays, 3 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock in London, for That Bit Blaster Guy. That's our regular live weekly TV show here on the internet, thatbitblasterguy.com. Love to have you join us. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Simple. Simple is better. Simple is better. Now, one of the things that, as, as we kind of get into this discussion and, and we move from simple and say, okay, you know, I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to do this, uh, which becomes more complex. And one of the beauties of VidBlaster is, from my perspective, is that it's like a giant set of Legos. And you can take the different modules, the individual Legos, and you can put them together any way you want to. For example, with the picture-in-picture, uh, the -picture, um, you can you can layer that and have multiple picture in pictures. That's how I build uh, the templates that I build when I want to have multiple Skype guests on. Is that each Skype guest gets its own picture in picture window, and then I layer those on top of each other. Um, let's see. I've got one more tutorial that I made up that I that I want to show you guys. Um, it's on chroma key, and you think, you know, oh, chroma key, people struggle with chroma key all the time. I, I was watching, what was it? Oh, last year, um, I'm a big Florida State University football fan, FSU in, in Tallahassee, Florida. And, and, of course, last year they won the national championship. And as they were in the, in the course of the season, every week after a game, the, um, the head coach would come on and have his his show and he had a show i think it was probably taped on sunday mornings and broadcast live on tuesdays and then available you know for rebroadcast after that and and on demand and and you know bless his heart he, he's he's losing some of his hair 
and and the way the lighting was, you can see I've got a little little dome light here right behind me, which helps kind of separate me from the here. Let me let me go back to this from the green screen background, um, and so it it kind of helps remove me from the, the background. Well, in the studio, <laughs> they had a had a top light on him, which just made a, a big burned out spot because he because he didn't have any hair in that spot. And the chroma key was off, so he had this big burnout in the top of his head, and then a green halo around him. And you know how hard can it be to get that right? Well, it, it, it with some software, it must be really hard to get it right. And I actually emailed the show and said, you know, here's how to do it. <laughs> you know, ditch that top light and and make sure he's far enough away from the screen and and all those kinds of things. Excuse me. And, and then I realized later, you know, there, that, that in studio environments, chroma key may be not quite as easy as it is with, with VidBlaster. Um, and so, well, anyway, en enough chatter. Um, let me show you what I've got. Let's see if I can queue up, this, uh, queue up this one for the chroma key. And remember, chroma key, um, if you've got the home edition in VidBlaster, you've just got the basic chroma key. But if you've got any of the other editions, you've got the more advanced chroma key. Um, let me let me show you chroma key in VidBlaster. Hey, I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, coming to you with another quick and easy tutorial to use in VidBlaster. As you know, in VidBlaster, you can put in a lower third using the overlay module right here. We'll just drop that lower third in. That's pretty cool. But if you change to another shot, ah, the overlay module stays there and you have to go back and turn it off. Well, there's an easy way to make the overlay module attach itself to the camera module. And we use an effect module for that. So let's say add effect. And we'll drag that over to the side here. And we want to do something called a source overlay. So we'll pick our source. In this case, it's going to be our camera. And then we'll pick our overlay. In this case, it'll be our overlay. And the two of them are together now in a module. So whenever we click on that module, there it is. If we want to go to a video and play a video for a second, then we can do that. If we wanted to go back to our camera shot, we, we can. And our lower third is still attached to it. Pretty cool. It's called source overlay in the effect module. And it's that simple. Another tutorial from that VidBlaster guy. Hey, we'd love to have you join us Wednesdays. At okay, enough of the ad on, part on that one. Um, but Chroma Key is, in VidBlaster anyway, it's that easy. Now, one of the key things that makes it easy for me is that, that I've got my lighting set up just perfectly for VidBlaster. I've got my green screen, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cut to this shot for a second. My green screen is way back there. It's probably four feet behind me so that I'm getting some good separation between me and the green screen. And then, let's see, can you see it in this light? No, you can see the, the light's off to the side. Uh, I'll have to get my other camera shot engaged where you can see the, the, the light that's producing this, but it really does help um, give me that good crisp key um, that you don't get if your lighting is not good. So, so you know, obviously in VidBlaster you've got to have the the right uh, the right physical stuff going on around you in order for the key to to do better. Um, did I did, am I talking? Did I do the wrong tutorial? Oh no. Well, sorry about that, guys. Um, I thought I did. Um, the guys in the chat room are telling me that I, I did not do the chroma key tutorial. Um, let's see. That's the picture in picture tutorial. How about that? You know, it's funny because I, I thought I knew what I was doing. And so, I, you know, while I was away <laughs> showing you that one, um, I was uh, I was making some other notes about what I wanted to talk about. That is just terrible. That's terrible. I am so sorry. Here, let's let's do that one again. Hi, I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, coming to you with a quick and easy tutorial on Chroma Key. Chroma Key is really simple to use in VidBlaster. 
the way we do it is let's add a module. So we'll go to module, add, effect. The effect module is really a workhorse module in VidBlaster. And that's where the chroma key is located. So we'll go into the top drop down box and select chroma key. Then the left box below that will select our camera source, which will be camera one, that's me. And then on the uh, other side, let's do still store two that'll be our background and as we pop that here you see there's a little fuzz in the background so we will right click select auto key and there we go it's really that simple really that simple to do in vid blaster now if you have the home version that's that's how you're going to do chroma key but if you have the advanced versions like pro and up if you right click you can select advanced settings and you've got lots of other ways to tweak. You can tweak the edges of your shirt and your ears and that kind of stuff to make it just absolutely spot on. But this is a pretty good key. That's how to do chroma key in VidBlaster quick and easy, the VidBlaster guy way. I am Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy. Watch us on uh, watch us live on Wednesdays uh, in the afternoon, Eastern Time, three o'clock in London in the evening, eight o'clock. That vidblasterguide.com is how to do it. Love to have you there. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks to the guys in the chat room for letting me know that I was uh, oblivious to the fact that I was showing you guys the wrong video. Uh, and somebody asked me in chat, you know, are, are you gonna, you know, you you can fix that in post. Um, I I think that's one of the one of the beauties about this show is that it's it's reality, it's live. And we're going to send it to YouTube the same way we broadcast it today. Um, I'm not trying to make myself look better than I really am. Um, I really do look this bad in real life. I'm just teasing. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the whole idea is that we make mistakes and we learn from our mistakes. And that uh, you guys get to learn from my mistakes, at least hopefully. Um, and one of those is to uh, don't uh, have your recordings be named recording one, recording two, and recording three. <laughs> and then if you don't know what they are, it, it won't work. Um, as we uh, as we get a as we get a um, as, as we move to the end of this segment, I want to talk to you about something that just happened to me today, and and it's a great great example of how not to do it. Uh, turned on my production PC this morning. It's probably been four or five days since it's been on. And uh, it popped up and said, hey, you've got Windows updates. Don't you want it? You know, cheerful. Don't you want to update your, your computer and make it all nice again with Windows updates? And I said, like a dummy, sure, no problem. And so I did that and then, um, then rebooted. And then started doing the tutorials and the, the, then I realized I, actually the first tutorial I did was the chroma key and a chroma key didn't work um, and I got into the middle of this recorded tutorial and I'm looking up there and I was like chroma key's not working and so I stopped I, I rebooted you know I, I redid my my profile in vid blaster came back on no chroma key I said this is odd Maybe it's because something to do with you know my bro, my uh, my tutorial my uh, what do you call this thing profile, and so I went back to my show profile, the profile that I'm using for today's show, and lo and behold, the chroma key didn't work in my show profile either, and I knew it worked last week. And the only thing I've done between this week and last week was install Microsoft Windows updates. So I said, I got a bad update. Now, there was a bad update that Microsoft sent out, I guess it was probably about a year ago, maybe 18 months ago, that rendered um, the easy caps. Um, or was it that? Or was it the video player? Yeah, the video player didn't work. That's what it was. The video player didn't work. It just flat out didn't work. And it was something in a, in a Windows update. And so I went into Windows and uh, went to review my update history and then um, went to it says to remove an update see installed updates so, so I went to my installed updates and I found 
that I had, uh, you know, Windows Defender always wants to update itself, and there were some other security uh, updates for Windows 7, but there were also some security updates for Microsoft.NET Framework, and, and those looked kind of suspicious, so I went through the process of removing those. took Hmm, 10 or 15 minutes. They did not want to come out. In fact, you know, it said reboot. And then when I rebooted, they, they had come back. Or some of them had come back. And so I had to remove them again. It was kind of like having a virus almost. And once I was able to get everything stable and, and the fact that, you know, that they were, they were gone and the PC didn't want to reboot itself, I checked in, in VidBlaster and sure enough, Chroma Key had come back. So if you do a VidBlaster show and you use chroma key and don't update the windows excuse me security update for microsoft.net framework and i'm not sure which one of those five that i got today is the one that caused the the issue i think what i'll probably do is um, install them one at a time until i hit the bad one and then i'll make a note and i'll put it uh, in the show notes for this show, and I'll also uh, tweet it on Twitter. Um, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, oh boy, that's the wrong color, isn't it? Um, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, I, enc I encourage you to do that because you can get those last minute updates. Boy, that didn't help much either, did it? Um, you can get those last minute updates about you know when the show starts, um, those kinds of things and it will tell you, you know, what's going on here so that you can have a clue what you want to do. Yeah, it's uh, at VidBlasterGuy on Twitter, and then that VidBlasterGuy on YouTube. Boy, that would be better if I had a background on it, wouldn't it? Anyway, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, the other thing is that we're beginning to migrate most everything over to EasternShoreBroadcasting.com. That's going to kind of be our headquarters as we, um, we do bricks and mortar here locally. Um, and then we're also doing, uh, of course, our, our shows that, that broadcast all over the world where we're talking about streaming. But um, we expect that we will be adding some clients that will have mostly local in interest shows, um, which should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. That brings us to the end of the segment. Um, let's see, any other closing comments here after, after botching that video so badly? Um, you know, it's, it's pretty forgiving stuff, and it's pretty fun stuff. If, if you're watching us for the first, first time on, on YouTube, love to have you come join us live on Wednesday afternoons. Live is, is a lot of fun because the guys in the chat room, you know, they're just going, they're just going bonkers right here um, asking questions like, you know, are you really doing that? You know, you, do you realize that you've shown us the same video twice? <laughs> and thank you for doing that. I appreciate that because I would have obliviously gone through the whole rest of the broadcast. Um, and I do, I do highly commend to folks that are doing a broadcast to have a chat room. It makes all the difference in the world. It's a lot of fun. If you're watching us live, hang around for the, the, uh, the intermission, and then we'll get ready for our second segment. And if you are uh, watching us on YouTube, uh, we release our Vid Blaster Guy shows on Wednesdays and our Streaming Idiot shows on Fridays. So uh, make sure you pop back and uh, check because you never know what we've done this time. I'm Tom Sinclair, that Vid Blaster guy. On behalf of, um, of all of us here in the studio, we wish you a great day and, uh, and hope you have great success with your broadcasts wherever they are. So we'll, we'll go out with this uh, outro. Thanks to my good friend, uh, Martin Kay. <laughs>